Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the Zeph Films community. I am Zeph Films, as it says on my t-shirt. And uh, we're doing episode 5. It's uh, I know episode 4 just came out yesterday. We're doing episode 5. I'm going to be uh, quickly just talking about what software you can use to capture your camera paths from Demo Record, and then what software you can use to take that captured software and edit it together. And then I'm also going to talk about um, a little trick just to kind of clean up your um, your files. Um, so the first thing we're going to talk about is capturing software. There is a few options that you can use. Uh, one of them, and I'm going to try and keep them to free ones, uh, Fraps. Um, Fraps was my go-to for about two years uh, before I got my 1070 GTX. Um, the only downside to Fraps is that it um, it's an uncompressed AVI, so you can capture 20 seconds of footage, and it could be anywhere from 500 megs to 2 gigs, um, just for that file size. Um, I had a lot of video projects where the total size of all the Fraps files that I had taken was about 20 gigs. And I think I still have those on the hard drive. I gotta go clean that out. <laughs> I think about it. Um, so Fraps. Um, last I checked, the free version only allowed you to record in 30 second increments. So it would automatically break the file every time it hit 30 seconds. I don't remember how much the full version is as the full version that I got. I got from another um, MMO website when in my early days I started doing... Um, screenshots of Star Trek Online and some video work for them to put up on their website. So they gave me the fraps for free to do this work for them. Um, the other software that I know of but I've never used is uh, Bandit Cam. Uh, from what I remember with Bandit Cam, there is a watermark. I don't remember how high or low it sits in the frame. Um, you can give it a try and see, uh, but I don't want that to ruin your footage. Uh, so there's Bandit Cam, fraps, um, the third one is OBS. OBS software actually has built-in uh, capture for um, your game, so for any game really, but you can use OBS to capture from that and save it locally to your hard drive. Uh, also, if you don't know, OBS also is a uh, free software for streaming to YouTube, Twitch, or any of the other platforms. Um, there is also XSplit. Uh, XSplit uh, it has free features to it, like you can you can download it for free, um, but I think it'll only capture up to 720p, I can't remember. Um, so you have that option as well. And the last one that I know of is Shadowplay. Uh, Shadowplay comes with NVIDIA graphics cards, uh, GTX 600 series, 700 series, and then it comes with the 1070s, 1080s, and I don't know about the 1060s. Uh, you might want to Google. I'm not entirely sure. I didn't really look. Um, yeah, Shadowplay. So Fraps, Bandit Cam, OBS, XSplit, Shadowplay. I don't know if ATI Radeon comes with its own software like NVIDIA does, but I've never used it. And to be honest, I didn't do the research before doing this video. <laughs> um, for editing software, uh, the one free one that I know of is Windows... Oh, God. Um, Windows Movie Maker. Um, there is a, a few other um, uh, free software out there for editing that you can use. I think one's called EasyVid. Um, there, there are some out there that you can use. Um, the other options, I use Sony Vegas Pro uh, for my editing. And there's also um, Adobe Premiere. Uh, Adobe Premiere uh, has moved to a subscription-based service where you can pay uh, like a certain amount of money per month and based on what package you take, you can get uh, Adobe Premiere or you can get Adobe Premiere with After Effects or Adobe Premiere with After Effects and um, Photoshop. So those are your capturing software that's video editing. Uh, just a note on the capturing software. Um, the way to use that is once you're done plotting your camera path and you save it and you play it back, you make sure you like it, you hit back, and before you hit the play button, you, um, for example, Fraps, I think, defaults to the F9 button to start capturing. So you hit the back button and demo record, then hit F9 to start your capturing software, then press play, 
and then it'll capture your however long you set your uh, your uh, camera path for. So say if it's 20 seconds, you run it for the 20 seconds. Once it gets to the end, hit F9 again to stop the capturing software, and then go locate where you saved it to and do your thing from there. Um, and then the other programs, I know Shadowplay and OBS, you can bind whatever key you want to uh, capture. I like F9. I don't know why, because nothing I use uses the F9 key, so I don't have to worry about it with... I don't have to worry about it interfering with anything. Um, all right, so now I'm going to talk to you about a little tip. Uh, so if you remember back in the demo record series, um, there was always that gray bar. Actually, we got perfect representation of it right here. So you see the gray bar up at the top. Um, it kind of clashes with the scene. Uh, there's two ways to get rid of that. Um, depending on your software that you choose to use for uh, editing, this option may or may not be available for you. But uh, one thing you can do is zoom in on your scene until it cuts out that gray bar. Um, you might lose a little bit of quality on your capture, depending on what kind of production you're going for. If you're just having fun, you don't mind, that's one way to do it. Um, the other way that you can go and go about and hide that gray bar is with a letterbox. Uh, letterbox is the, in movies, you'll see the black bar that's on the top and the bottom. That's called a letterbox, at least. That's from my research on the internet. That's what it's been called depending again on the type of video editing software that you're using it goes in order of priority so i have my letterbox as top priority so anything that goes underneath it video wise will always be underneath this letterbox um photo i guess you want to say where the black bar is on top black bar is on the bottom and everything else in the middle is transparent so you can still see your uh, footage once it's on the top priority frame drag it over all your footage and voila black bar covering the uh, the gray control panel at the top and also the bottom part uh, sometimes when you're playing a, uh, a file there will be some commands or some dialogue that shows up on the very bottom of the screen um, like maybe an error loading this thing or whatever um, those are all normal little errors, nothing to really worry about, but you can hide them from uh, your uh, end result production. And uh, that is going to bring us to an end of episode number five. Uh, so just to recap, capturing software, you use Fraps, Bandit Cam, OBS, XSplit, Shadowplay. Keep in mind that Fraps free version only records in 30 seconds. It increment Bandit Cam might have a watermark somewhere that might mess around with your footage. X Split, I think only goes up to 720p for free. OBS, no complaints there. I don't use OBS personally, but OBS is a good program to use. And then Shadow Play. Uh, only downfall with Shadow Play is it only comes with NVIDIA graphics cards. And then for uh, to recap on video editing, you want to use, um, well, not want to use, but your options are Windows Movie Maker. That's free. Uh, there's another program. I believe it's called EasyVid. Uh, there are a bunch of other programs out there that you can Google and just Google free video editing software. Um, there is going to be limitations to it, however. Or if you have money to throw around, there's uh, Adobe Premiere and there's also Sony Vegas Pro. I think there might be another one, but I don't want to talk about the expensive ones too much. And um, that is it. I'm going to try and keep this under 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, but this is the last uh, episode of the Demo Record uh, tutorial series. Uh, I saw one video so far that somebody did uh, using Demo Record. I'm hoping to see a lot more. Um, if we get more links of people doing like 10, 20 second video uh, shots in demo record and uploading it to YouTube. Maybe I'll do a separate video where I look over them and uh, and uh, Take a look at it all together. See what you guys like. 
I'm not going to grade them. I know I joked and said it was homework, but I'm not going to assign a grade to them. Thank you very much for watching this demo record series, and uh, I will see you in future videos. Good night.